the Arten Villa Mine Messina South Africa palm sized quartz crystal just go across the faces so crystalline on that face going across like that crystalline here across here and then the back end is contacted so that that whole section would be contacted that's not crystalline um, what I find interesting about this piece are the amazing inclusions. Now we're going to get a little bit closer and have a better look. You'll find there's almost a little tuft of, of needles inside there. Now what we're always looking for is the elusive Adjuite and Papagawite. Now what happens, uh, Adjuite is sort of a turquoise color. Let's just see if we can get a little bit closer in there. Have a look at those lovely inclusions. And this one has the, this is from the section where you had the so-called planet quartz. So you have almost little circular formations trapped inside the quartz crystals. Um, just zoom in on that. It's getting a little bit closer there. This lighting isn't actually ideal, but it gives a pretty good indication of the stone. Of course, it's overexposing a little bit on the edges there. You see those little circles, which I suspect are kale and clay. And of course, quite typically, you have hematite trapped inside the quartz crystal. Size-wise, almost a palm size, so substantial size. There you can see the little things happening inside the crystal. And over here, um, in that particular section, we have this little ball. Um, let me just show you there. Most likely kale and could also be adjuite, or maybe a slight dusting of adjuite. All the way from the Arten Villa Mine, Messina, South Africa, and uh, a little bit contacted this particular piece. Substantial size, and here you can actually see lovely inclusions in this guy. Look at those almost cloud like formations inside the quartz crystal.